everybody and welcome to the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea. This morning we have the start of our World Under 25 single semi-finals and the first game up is our defending champion William Moulton against Daniel Poole. Let's have a little look at what we have for the rest of today. Well, we have the next semi-final, which is Lyndon Sham of Hong Kong facing Scotland's Darren Weir. And then starting at one o'clock, we have the World Open single semi-final of Wayne Wilgress and Paul Foster MBA. So our match officials for this morning, our marker is Alan Thornhill, the umpire Francis Fletcher, and on the shot clock is Dan Blewett. Let's go live to the portable rink and join our MC, Mr. Jack Jenkins. Thank you very much, Jason. Yes, the first player out this morning, all the way from Scotland, is a player who has previously won the SYBA Under-17s Triples and Pairs event. Please put your hands together for Daniel Poole. His opponent for this match is a former national under-25s quarter-finalist and is the 2020 under-25s world champion and current defending title holder. Please put your hands together for England's William Moulton. Jason Parkinson in the commentary box. Well, thank you very much, Jack. Once again, everybody, good morning. Welcome to Potter's Resorts for this under-25 singles semi-final. In red, our defending champion, William Moulton. Facing uh, Daniel Poole. Lives just over the border in Scotland, plays a lot of his bowls at the Cumbria Indoor Bowls Club. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. William won this event a couple of years ago now. Obviously it wasn't played last year due to the Covid situation. So he'll be keen to retain this title. Daniel Poole, well, he won the qualifiers at Stanley just a couple of months ago. Played very, very well in those. My last ball? Two and a half feet. See both of the players choosing to play with the Henselite Tiger Bowl. Nice strong bias bowl. Suits this green very well. Yeah, well played. Very quick delivery of Daniel Pools there. There's no messing around. Just looking to get down to that bowl or inside for the jack would be very good. Just requires decent pace. One red. this green bowl. Yeah, that should be enough. Two red. Still a nice little ledge for Daniel. Get to either of those bowls and be very close. Looks underneath the line. We'll need to hold up now. Yeah, just just nipped it. Mm -hmm. 
William from the Atherley Indoor Bowls Club. Very intelligent young lad, speaks three languages. Very impressive. So we'll be looking just to add another down his backhand. Obviously, a left handed player will get away with a slightly tighter line. Just wondering whether Daniel may go for these two red balls. Has got a couple of thirds. Well, nearer the jack, I think. Well, one away. He'd be happy with that. Just the one down. One shot, William Moulton. <laughs> one zero, first down. So the defending champion takes his first end of the set. Normal rules apply. Two sets of nine ends. If you are joining us this morning on Facebook or YouTube. Thanks for following us over the last two and a half weeks. If you're out and about and busy today, you can keep up with these results. Obviously live on the Facebook and YouTube updates as well as our new website this year. Woolbowlstour.org. A much better start from Daniel. Great opening bowl. Played again. Two green. Oh, well, William wants to get just down to the last bowl of Daniels. Just needs to make the trip now. His line's very, very good. Oh, well played. Gives himself a chance. Very close to the shot now, Danny. Not much danger for Daniel. If he can just get underneath that, sit it away, or down to the jack will be perfect. Well, William's playing a similar shot on the other hand, down to either of the green bowls. Well, may just fall away. Well, that doesn't make it any easier for Daniel. Daniel will obviously have a slightly better look than we have, whether he fancies the green or the red bowl. Could stick with it if he likes, just navigate that last bowl of William's, or he could also swap to the other hand and just play down to the the wall of the bowls there and that will 
be enough. Yeah, sticking with it wasn't far away. Well, this can just get it. Sit off the bowl, just stuck wide slightly. Very good effort from these lads. Some super play. So just a quick uh, measure for the shots here, don't forget we have a great day of bowls with five games of bowls for you today, the final of this World Under 25 singles will be this evening at half past seven, join David Corkill and his team for that game, that'll be a cracking finish. It's always great to see the, the youth of the sport coming through getting stronger and stronger in the, the under 25s over the last couple of years. <coughs> well, it's very, very close. One, green. one shot, Daniel Paul. So, one to green. Let's go 1 1 after two ends. I don't think this has made the minimum requirement. No, nope, just a meter short. So that will go back to William. If you are quite new to the sport, the jack has to travel 23 metres. William will get to set the mark, but Daniel still gets the first bowl. Jack length 25 metres. Yeah, just slightly half inch past. Again, just that extra little bit of pace that just On green. keeps him away from getting back to the head. Oh, great ball here from Daniel. <laughs> stuff. Two green. There's a shot on the backhand. Well, He's forehand, he's left-handed, so he can play down the forehand with pace, down to the two green balls, or we'll get to the jack. Well, 
I think William's kind of shown his hand now, really. I think Daniel will be wise just to play down his backhand here and just get something a little bit deep down the back of the rink, just in case William runs with that jack and goes with it. Hard to tell whether he has the respot at the moment, but it'd be very hard for him to draw another shot here and kind of not make the target wider. Personal choice, though. That's a wise ball. Saying go ahead, you hit it. Yeah, that's just kind of tempted William into playing that difficult just arriving pace just needs to hold up two shots Daniel Paul set score one three after three ends Daniel just takes a two shot lead here from Annan, plays at the Cumbria Indoor Bowls Club, plays indoors in England, Jack outdoors 23 in and a Scotland. Half meters. This very minimum length jacks just caught them out at the moment, just sliding through that meter. Well, that could have turned that out for two or three. Bit of pressure. William will want to get this in, not leaving it for his his last delivery. One green. gets just inside it'll be enough yeah turned it out two green, two to green. still plenty of room for William he's got two feet all around the jack really just needs to steady the ship with this one and just just drop a meter of pace he's played a good line with all three bowls Well, he's just urging this up. Yeah, that should be enough if it stays up. Well, 
just sat away. It's close for one red. One shot, William Moulton. <laughs> Set score two three after four ends. Question coming about the bowls. Well, the, both players are playing with the, the Henselite Tiger bowls today. We do have quite a variety of pool bowls here, so it's personal choice. The players can bring their own if they want to or elect to play with something slightly different. Daniel's actually playing with the famous birds. They've been used by, I think, five different players here now this year. Jack length, 26 metres. Oh, we seem to be a very popular green set. Short last time, please. Your bowl just under three feet. Well, again, just not making the trip. One green. So another chance for Daniel. Still plenty of room this, this end. He's definitely on a, a much wider line. I don't think this will get back unless he's absolutely perfect pace. Really? A five in the last ball. One red. to do is just get on the, the inside of the red bowl. I think pace will decide with this. Well, we can have a quick measure. Just a couple of questions regarding following bowls. Well, the general rule of thumb is you can follow your bowl as long as when your ball comes to a stand, you must be either back behind the mat or behind the head. Uh, that's just out of uh, etiquette for your opposition. Depends where you play in regards to different rules, you know, different organisations or in your, your clubs. You may have rules where you can only come down after your third bowl. That's mainly just to save a bit of, a bit of time really and 
keep the game flowing. Here's very different, we have the, the shot clock, so we have the 30 second shot clock. So if you wanted to, you, you could come up after every single bowl if you wanted to, as long as your bowl is played within that 30 seconds. So it is slightly different here on the portable rink. But uh, the reason why you should be behind is uh, just to answer the question, it's just down to etiquette and respect for your, your opposition. One shot, William Moulton. So another one to red, so back to an even scorecard. Set score 3-3 three, three after five ends. whether he may go slightly further with this jack this time he's tried that 26 meters a couple of times and just just not nailed it so he may just go jack length 29 meters yeah it's gone three three meters further Very wise that the decision. This side of the green, this is the biggest of the four hands in this direction here. This four hand that Daniel's playing. Always coming back to the jack with good pace. Just stay with it now, perfect. It's a great ball from Daniel. One green. Where is that in relation? Jack? It's two inches short of Jack High and it's touching the Jack. Yeah, William just asking the question there. Slightly short of the Jack, so that will make him decide to play down the other hand. Just get down to the last ball or a little touch on the Jack would be perfect. Cheeky touch off that would be good. One green. Well, Daniel could play something very similar. It's a little bit risky down the forehand. He won't want to just get to his own bowl. It is touching the jack, so any slight contact, the jack will move probably three or four inches. It does move a long way on this carpet. Time out called. He plays down. Daniel has four timeouts remaining. Plays down his backhand just to that last red bowl. There's still that little bit of danger if he just gets to the jack with too much pace, but he just needs to get to cover those red bowls. So I think he'll play down his backhand and just sit to the red bowl behind the jack, just to the left on your screen there. That would be absolutely perfect. Well, he's sticking to play with his forehand. Maybe looking just to get round the head. The only thing I thought about playing the forehand, you just have that risk, I think, of just reaching that that green bowl. I think the percentage was down the other hand, personally, but we'll give William another go now. Just half a bowl tighter will be good. Well, this can't be too far away. Just wants to bend a little bit. Oh, brilliant bowl. Good and lucky. We've got one out of it. One red.
Well, Daniel's just following William. It's on a slightly narrower line. There is two lines down to it in this direction. There is a tighter line available. It's a slightly heavier line. One shot, William Moulton. <laughs> Set score 4-3 after six ends. been a very even set so far six ends played five singles scored just that double for Daniel on the third end Jack length 27 and a half meters Three feet. Still a chance, quite a lot of room for both of these players. William would be very keen to get there first. He didn't like that one. I think it's just his pace again. Just hasn't pushed it. But I think he might just sneak in. Definitely got second. One red. the winner Two red. well this can just stop now is very close oh that's a great goal One shot, Daniel Paul. Big ball that. Set so score four four. Want to go three behind with a couple of ends to play. Evens it back up. Jack length 25 metres. <laughs> well, 
Well, this is a much better start. That's a great bowl. too shabby neither oh well played again some great stuff being played by these two young players it's always great to see the younger players they always seem fearless when they're playing bowls they don't tend to worry too much just a chance even if he finishes just slightly past it'll just give himself another option here Williams finished in a very good place with his second bowl anything in between the two if he doesn't get the shot would be great yep yeah, there's always an option Daniel's just having a look at this. He can't see too much of that bowl. He can either just draw again or if he wants to, he can play a little bit more of a difficult shot down the backhand. He can just flick that red bowl away or turn it onto the jack. His last bowl's finished in a good place or it sticks and plays the nice draw. No, and two minds. Yep, he's trying to play the, the flick of the, the red bowl. Well, it's gave him another another bowl in the head, but still a bit of room for, for William to get in here. He has got the last bowl, so not much danger. Timeout called. William has four timeouts remaining. He yeah, has a wise use of a timeout there. William just slightly longer on the, the mat than Daniel. Not much. Which allows you to have that extra bit of time just to concentrate on making this in. Just overplayed, so it's going to be one to William, and he's going to have a one-shot one shot lead William going Holt. into this final end of the third set. Leads now five, five four after eight ten. Don't forget we have another game coming up for you shortly after this one. We have Lyndon Sham from Hong Kong playing Scotland's Darren Weir. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. Yeah, 
and wasn't happy with that just didn't get the bowl away completely clean Well, that's going to sit in for two, so that's a, a set lie here. Two green. A little bit of pressure on for William. First job will be just to guarantee he gets at least a second. Shot will be perfect. Sits the back red ball, definitely get the second shot. In this forward, I don't think he's going to make the trip, is he? Well, left himself a, a little bit of spot bother here. Daniel could either play down the forehand, just try and get another bowl in the head and count just slightly wide of this target. Doesn't want to sit them all together, or he could elect to play a positional bowl, take the chance of. William playing at these and just missing. Yeah, he's happy with the two. There is a possibility of William playing with pace down his forehand just underneath the front red bowl and could peel both balls away. One would tie the set, but this is a big bowl. Playing for the dead draw. want to guarantee he just reaches don't think he's going to reach you know two. Well, Alan Thornhill fancies two to green two. Okay. yeah Daniel two shots first declared set, not Daniel to send Paul. his last ball so it's going to be two shots to Daniel Poole, he's going to take this first set, six shots to five. Well, a cracking first set there. Both players playing a quite a steady game. There's been no fireworks yet. So we start again, scores are reset, another set of nine ends. William will need to win this to force a tie break. Jack length 25 and a half metres.
Two and a half feet. Well, this looks better pace. Yeah, it's well played, well adjusted. Just a one dollar. Two. Two. Yep. Yeah. One red. How far short was that last ball? Last ball gap is 12 inches. Well, he's just played a good ball down the other hand. I'm surprised he's changing, but you may just think he doesn't want to get wrecked on that last ball of Daniels. He could have easily got just slightly past the jack and back to centre. Two red. Daniel's going to play with a bit of pace. Wants to just hold up now. Yeah, look at difficult pace that. Very difficult pace tends to go pretty quick so chance for William on this first set just slip another one in here that'll give him the confident boost all the pace decide on this because this is a cracking line oh, well played fantastic Very fantastic ball from William three shots William Moulton 3-0 first I'll definitely just give him that little bit of a boost whether he might just shake things up a bit but he's keeping the mat in the same place just that meter up from the tee he has actually been playing better on the the longer length jack the 28 29 meter length jack just been struggling for the pace on the 26 and a half that he was playing jack length 27 and a half meters Good opening bowl. Reply, William can still just get underneath his own ball. Just stick with it, just another foot of pace, that's all. Just a little bit unlucky. William can actually get down to that last bowl if he wants to and 
if he sits back that'll be the shot or similar and just correct the pace he needs to just navigate his nearest red bolt we want to make sure he just reaches with this if he can get just underneath oh well played a good ball as well very close favourite one red yeah Thornhill thinks it's a shot. Well, there's a little cheeky shot here for Daniel, should he wish to play it. He can just play for the edge of his own ball, which will plant Williams' ball straight out the head. He has got two seconds. The danger is obviously planting it onto the jack. Timeout called. Daniel has three timeouts remaining. He's quite a normally an attacking player, Daniel. He's got quite a big drive as well. We'll just check the angles and then decide what he wants to play. Well, I think he was just playing down that forehand to play inside that wide red ball that you can see on your screen there back to the jack drag it around the corner for a couple I thought he may have just played the backhand Well, decisions, decisions. It's now playing just for the chip down the backhand. I thought it may have gone before. Now, once the outside edge of the green doesn't want it on the jack. Oh, well played. Okay. Two shots, Daniel Paul. Good conversion shot for Daniel. I'm not quite sure if he can just get that ends. ball straight through the hole, but he hit it well. And two shots is the prize, so he gets two of the three back straight away. Jack length 26 metres. Well, Daniel just wants to make sure he beats the front bowl and that will be the shot. Yeah, favourite green. 
One green. Just enough, so on to green. Just a nice steady draw, just needs to just miss the front balls. Line were good, just slightly overplayed again. Something very similar for for Daniel. Even if he sits the, the two red balls just slightly past the jack, that would be very good. So quick on the mat, it only takes one second. It's on a very good line. How's the pace? Oh, well played. No touch on the jack. Target again with that drive of Williams. Daniel still favours the two. Two shots, Daniel Paul. <laughs> Set score 3 4 after three ends. Two very exciting World Open singles semi finals for you this afternoon, live on the BBC. Two England Scotland affairs, that's always really exciting to watch. A very energetic crowd, I'm sure. Four players all racing for the Jack length 24 and a half meters. World champion this year. Some quite interesting games as well this year. We've also got a, a little race for who's going to finish world number one as well. So, some interesting stuff going on this year. It makes it a little bit more exciting, I always find. One red. Well, I knew he'd push that ball wide there down that hand. Daniel's looking just to get down to the, the red bowl or the jack. I think he's just slightly chased this. Yeah, sometimes it just sucks you into playing that. Looks very easy just to turn the bowl away, gets down to the jack. I think he's better off just guaranteeing the draw. Any contact on the jack would be a bonus. So, William will definitely want to get this bowl in the head. It's looking a bit vulnerable at the moment.
So these are the ones that always count at the end of a game, the, the last ball where you've got a decent opportunity just to add an extra shot. Yeah. Played it well, guaranteed it. Two shots, William Moulton. Let's go 5-4 after four ends. Jack length, 27 and a half metres. Yep, decent start. 18 inches past the jack. Can he just stay with this jack? Yeah, well played. Should be the shot. One red. Yep. Oh, Daniel, can you get down? Promotion on his own. Yes, I think that's going to be enough for the shot. One green. Timeout called. William has three timeouts remaining. I think what he's thinking at here, he can either play his forehand, which he's going to do, he can play down to Daniel's bowl, or he can get back to the jack, or he can just draw down the other hand. That's what he's just debating. Well, if he can just turn this, this green bowl over, touch on the jack would be very good. He wants to fall in. Oh, great bowl again. Four good bowls from these young players. One red. <coughs> now there's a couple I'm of cool. options here. You can see Daniel just placing Daniel his foot. Two time whether time whether he's looking at the inside edge of the shot red bowl. If it's slightly wide, there's a little bit of a fortunate contact. 
it'll do very well to remove red balls without the the green one. Oh, can he get the edge? Oh, he's got a bad bounce. <coughs> oh dear. That is a bad bounce. Could be a few down here. Yeah, it's two. That, that one beats yeah. that. Two. two shots, William Moulton. So, two more for the defending champion. Set score, 7 4 after 5 eight. Just ends. extends his lead now in this second set. Seven shots to four. Daniel won the, the first set by one shot, so he's guaranteed a, a tie break should he lose this set. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. Yeah, pace wasn't bad, just slightly sticky that hand sometimes at that length. Waiting, just a f it was just a phone going off then. Well, he's down a, a better track just underneath his own ball. Oh, well played. Daniel just slightly lacking the pace. Oh, very good effort though. Makes it a lot harder for William to score another. I think something slightly past the jack would be very good now. Yeah, that's finished well. There is a little plant there, but I can't quite see the angles. I'm not sure if it gets stuck on the the back green bowl. Can you get a piece of the jack? Yes, that's enough. Well played. It's just fell back onto the jack. I'm not quite sure whether it's moved it enough back to the red bowl. Favour one red. Oh, he's been unlucky. Very unlucky. Played an excellent shot. Just got that little touch back on the jack. Timeout called. William has two timeouts remaining.
Well, Daniel, I just don't think you're going to get back. I don't think. Just that little bit of extra pace. A favour red. Wait, have a measure if you want. Yeah, Alan says he just favours red, but yeah. One shot, William Moulton. The officials here are very, very good. Set score eight four after six ends. So into end seven. Four end uh, four shots ahead for William. Yeah, three ends to go. So, quite an important end for, for Daniel. Jack length, 27 metres. One red. Again, found a, a good line with that ball, just the pace slightly pushed through. So another chance for Daniel, down to the shot ball. Well, can it just bend enough now? Here it comes. Oh, unlucky. One red. just asking how many thirds he has if he removes those two red balls is three thirds I think it's that point in the set now where he does have to make something two down here ten four well it's not impossible I'm but it does make it very difficult I think it's worth playing peel the two red balls away and that gets him straight back in if he hits the jack well he's gonna need a little bit of luck he's off target
Two shots, William Moulton. <laughs> Set score 10 4 after 7 8. Well, William's won four ends on the bounce now. Daniel's been playing some really good balls, just had some unlucky slight contacts, either falling away or just falling back onto the jack. But William has just slightly upped his consistency this, this set. Jack length 27 and a half metres. shake of the head there from Daniel he knew that William had just left this door open slightly he needs a two this end Daniel to force it into the final end comes a great goal as well. Very well played. That was one of them. One green. William will just look at getting a, another very close second just to try and stop Daniel getting the the extra shot that he needs this end. Good ball. <coughs> Just slightly nipped the line, so it's going to be down to his last ball, I think. One green. Just wondering whether William may just cover this back corner. There's a few green balls on this side of the head. Well, Daniel will have a look at this. You can see how surprised William played that side. You can see three green balls on this side of the head there was no point in playing into the head I don't think with that last ball I think he should have maybe have covered the the triangle of the the three green balls how he gets I'm it there ball. is the, the difficult bit Daniel has no time solid on the red could get a piece of the jack it's set down on this end anyway so there's nothing to lose Or to play the red ball solid with quite a bit of pace it's not a live ball if he loses it probably get three shots anything solid onto the jack now oh he's been lucky again one shot second set William Moulton match tiebreak well that was the only shot he had on he hit the target just needed to lose that green ball or kill that jack but it stayed in the rink so it's going to be William Moulton that takes this second set ten shots to eight First in tiebreak, William won the toss and has given a jack to Daniel. 
So into the tie break we go. Three ends, first player to win two of the ends. It doesn't matter about the shots on a tie break, of course. William has won the, the, the coin toss and has elected to let Daniel have the jack. He prefers the last bowl. Well, a very interesting first semi-final this morning. Jack length, 25 metres. And if you have just joined us, don't forget, straight after this game, we'll have a 10 minute break and then we'll be back with you with the second World Under 25 semi final. Lyndon Sham of Hong Kong facing Scotland's Darren Weir. Another good game for you. Stay with us. Two and a half feet. Well, has he taken the pace off? I think he's still going too quick. he will be disappointed with those. It was his choice of chat length and just not dropped on it yet. Still got one ball though. I think he just needs to just take his time a little bit more. William will look at getting this right on top of this jack. Something nice and solid in the front will be good. Well, there's still a chance, you know. There's nothing within 18 You're inches. Right. There's a nice wall of balls there. Just needs to take his time here. Think about it. Stick with it, just a correction of pace, that's all. Well, is it going to sneak over the seam? Well, yeah. I think Alan thinks it's sneaked in. Well, it's done enough. Timeout called. William has two timeouts remaining. So, big bowl this. It's got almost four feet of room to land this bowl in. Line looks pretty decent. How about the pace? Yes, I think it's going to be in. Oh, well played. Great last ball. First end, William Mott. So, advantage red. It'll be Daniel now that'll have the choice of the jack. He'll probably give it away.
Jack length, 26 and a half metres. Daniel, that's a, a great opener. One. one red. There's still one red, but four. One red, yeah. Well, this can't be too far if he's reached. He just gets up to the bowl or the jack. Yeah, well played. Light touch, but it's still in. One green. Well, same shot for William. Will this just get back in time? Bang on a bang on a length. One just that ball wide. Sticking with the forehand, as long as he's not wide on the outside of the red bowl, there's not much danger. If he can turn the jack in, make it a, a lot smaller target. Yeah, he's played it well. Good bowls. Two green. Now, this is up to William. There's a, a couple of shots. He can stick with the draw if he wants to. Wasn't far away last time. You can play weight on either hand, you can play forehand for the jack or you can force the short red ball through onto the, the pair of greens. Oh, there's a similar shot on the backhand as well. Well, looking to get solid on the green or solid on the red. I think he's going to be underneath. Oh, lucky. Very, very good Second effort. Daniel Paul. Well, the second end of this very interesting game's tie break goes to Daniel Paul. William has one timeout remaining. Yeah, William's got the final choice of this jack and has given it away again. Good choice, I think. Always good to have the last ball. Hard to pick a winner. Don't forget the rules change again in this third end of the tie break. This is the only time you can kill the end. You must nominate it first, of course. You can nominate it as many times as you like. But Jack you can only kill it meters. once.
just slightly overcorrected. I think it's still one red. Plenty of room though. I don't think either of those will win this end. Oh, this is a great ball. Finishes right in front. Oh, a cracking ball from William. Two red. Decision time. Timeout call. Well, you can see the Daniel has no time at green me. bowl there. Still give William quite a bit of room. There's only two options. He either attempts the draw to within three or four inches or he tries to hit and then recover with his last bolt. Yeah, going for the draw. Well, not a million miles away here, you know. What a bowl this is. Oh. What a fantastic bowl that is from Daniel Poole. One great. Kept his nerve very well there. So, I'm just wondering whether there's a chance for William just to play at that front red bowl, flick the green bowl away. Yeah, going for the cannon. Just wide again. Oh, Daniel. He'll be aware that that green bowl can just be forced out the head. I'm just wondering whether he'll just draw down this backhand. Anything inside the red bowl, slightly past the jack. That will give him, hopefully, another second and just protect it. Same shot available on the other hand. As long as he doesn't put the two green balls together or make the target slightly wider. He wants to get back to centre rink now. Well, William the defending champion on the brink of going out here. Last ball. I'll have to play the same shot. Front red ball onto green ball. Hope there's no jack movement. Timeout called. Well, he's going to need a bit of luck. Hasn't got it though, so the defending champion has been knocked out by. Daniel Poole, the man from Annan, the English qualifier from Stanley, on a tie break to Stoneham. Well, thank you very much for joining us for that game. We'll be back with you in around about 10 minutes for the next of our World Under 25 semi finals. You can see there it's Lyndon Sham of Hong Kong against Darren Weir. And then into this afternoon, we have one o'clock for the first of the World Open single semi finals. England's Wayne Wilgress against Scotland's Paul Foster, MBE, followed very shortly by. Les Gillett of England and Scotland's Alex Marshall MB. We'll be back with you in about 10 or 15 minutes. Until then, bye-bye for now.